Am I gonna play Zeus versus Puck again? I already played it so much. No, I'm not. It's time for this. Oh, I get spammed. This is my first game of level 30 sniper, boys. I get spam my uh, um, uh, voice line. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, the voice line is coming. The clown is you, Sniper! Let's get him, boy! We clowning on them! Channel the power! The real value of Illusory Orb is it's low cooldown. It's not the best ability in lane for many other reasons, but its cooldown is really low. <clears throat> so early point shrapnel not good anymore even for stacking. Depends. Depends. You have to evaluate what's worth it considering the situation you're in, right? So we are leaning against the puck. Is early points in shrapnel not worth it against puck? No, they're not. But in a different situation the answer might be yes. Puck is a super low armor, highly elusive hero that you will not land shrapnel on. He's also a ranged hero, so it's a very bad lane to utilize the uh, shrapnel. My void. My void. Bruh. Nice pathing. That wasn't pathing, that was brain. I should probably get anti furian measures. Some uh, stuff like this. Tipping, tipping. Is it for sure today? The patch? No, it is not. Unlucky, Bliat. Unluck. Oh, I'm dead now too. Unluck. But, you know, pretty decent actually. Pretty decent. So many people. So many people showing up. Apparently we already lost bottom tower, so that's not very good. Morph is completely free, I guess. I mean, it's an offlane tiny. It's a shit offlaner. Quack, 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 quack. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm ready to help him there, but uh, the rest of us not so much. Morph is hella deep. You can charge this guy. This is the first damage we ever did to bottom tower. Kinda depressing. Fuck, 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 care. Yeah, that's the problem about taking a big fight where we don't have a tower. I'm going base anyway, so I can tank it. Tier 2, what do we have? Groovy Bow. Maybe I should have gone for the the Nature's Prophet counter though. I'm gonna get stuck. think that that's what we're doing but fair and balanced nature's profit damage Morphling. Go Africa, no? Mumble, mumble, go Africa. I think it has to be B. Could be next, not even Hurricane Pike. Piking Morph away could save him. Yes, but using BKB could also save against Torrent Storm combo, against Grimstroke, against Nature's Prophet damage, against Blade Mail. It's not like BKB is not extremely good here. That's the thing. But yes, Hurricane Fight can definitely do something. So I think it can do it. More with other stuff. Thousand gold for him, kitty. All right, I'll consider leaving it for you. For you, three thousand gold. Well, we're getting closer to uh, survival item. Yeah, morph is a straight up problem.
<laughs> I mean, this game is one-sided right now, but it's not that one-sided. They are ahead, but we can actually easily win this. That's a smoke. Can we take it? Wait. Just kill this. We can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore Morphling, still ages. I will poke him if he goes. Oh, they're doing this. Yeah, they could just do that until they win, honestly, if they want to. Grimstroke? Yo, we can go out, we can go out. We're coming. This guy, this guy? Two dead, two dead, two cores dead. Alright. Nature's Prophet feeling very brave. <laughs> Confident move. Yeah. That's just a power move, honestly. It's confidence. Straight up baller move. You know, it's like they say, like, dress for the job that you want, not the job that you have, you know? This Nature's Prophet, he's like, TP for the ganks that you can do. Wait, no. TP for the ganks you want to do, not the ganks you can do. That's that's the guide to Nature's Prophet. Does it apply to me right now? Oh, yeah, very much. I always felt like I'm in the circus when I play Dota, so, you know. Get out, get out, if you can. Don't buy back, just hold. If we get Chrono, maybe buy on. Oh! Okay. Okay, not like don't buy back ever. <laughs> Coming, coming. Unlucky. They get jumped early. Why are you guys fighting outside the tower? Because outside the tower there's stuff like uh, Roche, which is impactful. Fighting outside the tower is not the problem. The way the fight starts and like immediately taking the fight instead of trying to disengage is probably more of a problem. And we're not in a situation where we can't fight at all, only in our base. We're not that weak. But we weren't gathered as much as they were. Go, 
These buybacks. Hmm. Do you buy? Void? We can still do stuff. Use buyback, use buyback on Tiny. Get to buyback. Just smitches. The enemy's top tower. We push. No stress though. If we can't end, it's okay. We're still strong. Just gotta wait up by Baxton. But push here. And we go. Take Torm, take Torm. No high ground. No, no, no. This. No need end. Hard to high ground. Kunka has a strong team fight. Just farm. You got away. Nice. I wish I got Mindbreaker this game, dude. But we got Mindbreaker on Tiny, so. Kunka base. We're charged. Morphling charging us. We got him. I think the Oracle did a good job, but it's so hard to keep track of the hero's actual impact. He did pretty good this game, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think Oracle played pretty solid. Oracle is insanely strong as a hero at the moment as well. He's underutilized for sure. Yeah, I think the one time maybe he should have bought back, but he, he was also right, I think. I could have used my um, 
my shard uh, earlier there. But I was also really perplexed that he didn't d buy back on those dives because I could turn it and just kill them. But, you know. <laughs> 